Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and let's solve one more problem from linear differential equation with constant coefficient. As you can see the RHS is 0 so we don't have to bother much about the particular integral in this problem because that is going to be 0. So all focus will be on the calculation of complementary function and that is important. That is why I am taking this question. So that in some, uh, because you can see the power of d is going up to 4. So we'll have to, the equation, auxiliary equation which you'll get will be somewhat complex. So we'll have to calculate it in a better way. So let's see. So first step as always is writing our auxiliary equation, which is just replacing this d by m. So you get m power 4 minus 2 m cube. plus 38m minus 24 and equate it to 0. First root hit and trial. Let's check for 1. Is 1 this root of this equation? So if you put 1, you get 1 minus 2 minus 13 plus 38 minus 24. So positive things you are getting as 39 and negative you are getting as 15 from here and 24 from here. 24, 10, 34 and 5, 39. Yes, this is equal to 0. That confirms that 1 is the first root which we were searching for. So, when you get your first root, write that here. And now, here you write the coefficient starting from the highest uh, power. So, power of m power, uh, coefficient of x power, m power 4 is 1 m cube minus 2 minus 13 38 and minus 24 this is a synthetic division method which is very helpful to find roots in case powers are higher now write 0 here and so you get 1 now multiply this one with this one so you are going to get 1 write that down here again add Again, keep on multiplying this minus 1 with the 1 you have written here. So, you are getting minus 1. Again, keep adding. So, minus 14. Again, multiply. Minus 14. Now, you are going to get 24, I guess. Again, multiply. Last, you are getting 0 on addition. That shows that, yes, 1 will be the root. Because at last, when you get 0, that confirms that 1 was the root. Now this has reduced from power 4 to power 3. So now how will you get equation from this? Again multiply. So m cube multiplied by 1. m square multiplied by minus 1. m power 1 multiplied by this. And again hit and trial. Let's check for 1. So 1 you are getting 1 minus 1 minus 14 plus 24. Uh, 25 minus 15. No, not equal to 0. Let's check for minus 1 then. So minus 1. Minus 1 square is 1. Again minus 1. Plus 14. And plus 24. Again. 38 minus 2 not equal to 0. Check for 2. So you are getting 2 cube is 8 minus 4 minus 28 plus 24. So you are going to get 24 plus 8 is 36 and minus 32. No, uh, you are getting uh, 24 plus 8 is 32 and 28 plus 4 is also 32. Yes, you are getting it equal to 0. Yes, 24 plus 6 is 30, 30 plus 2 is 32 and here also you are getting minus of 30 plus 32 minus 32 equal to 0. So yes, 2 is one root. So again, move ahead. Write 2 here. Write the coefficient of this cubic equation. So 1 
माइनस वन माइनस फोर्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर राइट जीरो हेयर वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू माइनस ट्वेल्व मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू नाउ यू गेट अ क्वारिटिक इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस कोफिशियंट बाय द पावर्स सो यू गेट नाउ एम स्क्वेर प्लस एम माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो so can you factorize this m square 4m minus 3m minus 12 equal to 0 so you are getting m as minus 4 and m as Fine. So, what are the roots which we have got? We started off with uh, one as our root, then two, and then minus four and three. So, if I write roots m one, m two, m three, and m four, so you get one, you got two, you got three, and you got minus four. so all the roots are distinct we also know how to find complementary function in case roots are distinct complementary function is c1 e power first root m so m1x so 1 into x c2 e power 2x c3 e power 3x doesn't matter whatever order You choose and c four e power minus four x. This is what we have got now. Pi is in this case is zero, and we know that y solution is c f plus p i. So y will be equal to c one e power x plus c two e power two x, c three e power three x. C four e power minus four x. So this is what we are getting as our solution. So again, it was simple only. Just we have to know how to use this synthetic division method because it is quite helpful, and you are going to get solution faster. Okay. So that's it for today. We just learnt how to solve problem like this. I have solved. i think two or one or two more problems of this type so do uh, solve that if you have understood this method go and try those problems as well uh, so you get some confidence in this type of problems thanks again